Hey guys, today we're looking at a new leverless option from Canadian company Chocobox. The controller is called the Beast Box and is named as sort of a nod to Daiga Umahara who makes use of a similar device in SF6. Anyway, this device builds on the foundation of entry-level Flatbox-esque 3D printed designs. The twist is that they have two additional buttons in similar locations to the ones on Daigo's custom hitbox. Regarding our color selection, Chocobox offers a variety, but I told them that something seasonal might be fun, so they sent this pumpkin themed one over for a Halloween demo. Alongside a $97 flatbox controller on their website, there are two models of this Daigo inspired controller, a PS4 one for around that $119 price point, and a PS5 compatible version for around $186. The version you see here is PS5 compatible. These designs are a fork of the open source Flatbox and utilize GP2040 CE firmware. You can also mix and match your case and buttons and then choose between either brown or red kale switches. I requested some tactile brown for this one just to give me something a bit different from the usual. Here is a quick sound check. Like many of the all button controller offerings these days, the Beast Box is a bit on the smaller and lighter side compared to traditional fight sticks. Here are the dimensions. Now, I typically like to open things up to see how the sausage is made and get a glimpse of the internals. However, the feet are glued over the top of the screws and I don't have the correct bit on hand to get this open and still release this video in a timely fashion. Anyway, they look like square drive flathead number 4 screws if you see this video down the line and need to open up your own. As a compromise, I had Chocobox send me a picture of an in-production unit so we could sneak a peek at the PCB. The 3D printed enclosure doesn't bother me, but some users may take issue with the feel of 3D printed button caps. Since these are all standard low profile switches, you can easily replace the caps with whatever you'd like if that's a deal breaker. Chocobox started their business in July, and this new PS5 compatible version has been out for a little less than a month now, so they are definitely a new player on the scene. However, they already want to give back to the FGC and the controller community. Their devices are a remix of Flatbox hardware and use GP2040, and they have plans to upload their source files to GitHub soon so that people could make these units themselves. Like a lot of these small builders on the scene, Chocobox seems to embrace that mom and pop philosophy of trying to make small factor arcade controllers easy to access for everyone. I think that's great, and I hope to see their files on GitHub soon so more people can try out the Beast Box. I'd say this device will appeal to those who already like the flat box, but just wish it had more buttons. The price is in line with a lot of the other affordable 3D printed controller options, and if you prioritize portability with a small footprint, then this is what it looks like compared to similarly sized competitors. If Daigo played on a flat box, this would likely be right up his alley. So yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and thanks to Chocobox for showing off a newer controller. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.